you know, stove cap when that time comes. That's that time is coming. Check it out. There is all that sheet metal to cut. It's it's wood stove day. And if if this doesn't happen soon, my walnut wallet will actually freeze off and I'll never I'll be like Papa Bear. Sorry, didn't mean to say it, but I might be with you, buddy. No chromers. Yes, let's go, Papa Bear. That's three bags in that two foot hole. Obviously, it needs three more, is what I'm thinking. Don't let me forget to give Air Yeti its its medicinal blowy. It's that time. It's been four days since I've given it that pump it needs. Let's go, Papa Bear. <laughs> 60 pound bags. Yes, great workout. Oh, that that really works. Punching it open. I'll be punching in Air Yeti. It's so freaking cold when it's a meat locker, me and Rocky. Oh, Papa Bear wants to get a couple licks in too. Look at him. You got dusted with that cement. Oh, easy. Clean yourself up. Oh, come on. Tossing my salad. This will definitely help Ed Too Tall pole here. Technically, if you were up there pole dancing at the very top, you'd probably topple it. Yes. Let it rain. Once a week for the medicinal blowy. It's just like the semi-annual uh, Lincoln's birthday sale, right? It's, it's wood stove day. Uh, it went down seven pounds in four days. So not a shocker. That's great. I love the consistency. Seeing that on the air pressure gauge. Oh, the last bend over. Take the steak and low umbrellas off the uh, Ed Too Tall pole. Yeah! There we go. Remember when I ripped the rear end out of the hall aster? It's, it's wood stove day. So I just put two bolts on each side. It's way stronger now. Speaking of ripping rear ends, oh, the pepperonis are just killing me at night. Manifold pipe that I screwed up on. 20 and 21 inches. Let's try that again. 21. I need 21 and a half. If I screw this up again, uh, I don't know what could happen. I, where's my penis style? I can't even find nothing. My pets, my pets' heads are falling off. Look. Yeah. <laughs> 21 and a half. I'm not afraid to show you awesome squatchers mistakes here. I could have done this totally off camera and ignored that I to totally to screwed up big time. Oh, well, will I use this for something else? A peripherated metal pipe, 21 in? No, I don't know, maybe it'll come around. A lot of things like that do. Just like, uh just like that scorching case of flaring up from 1992. It comes around again for you, just when you least expect it. I need to do a straight line and then drill. How many holes did that take? Oh, uh, I haven't drilled that many holes. Oh, I got you good, didn't I? Oh, how dare I forget how much fun this is to drill. 83 holes. No, 77. Yes. You get eight more. <laughs> yes. Speaking of eight more, a Donner party of eight. I think that would be, have you ever done that? Gone to a restaurant with eight people and they asked, oh, who's the... What name should I put down? You say Donner. And when they call you Donner, party of eight. No? Donner, party of eight. I, I just go to restaurants with eight people just so I can do that gag. Uh, I don't even know the other seven people. I just, <laughs> hey, Donner, party. And why three-eighths inch gap, the engineers at Quadrifier? Uh, I don't know. What a... What do I look like? A 3 8 a-hole? I mean, come on. I don't know. 
I drew, I measured out the last one, every three eighths right here. I'm just all skating it. It's a 10 inch free for all. I know three eighths when I see it. A major pain in my yang. This is the front pipe, the manifold in the wood stove. I had to take this out, which was, took a long time to manipulate it. The margins are so tight. <laughs> but not bad recreation. Uh, well, the one I built, this one is thin. This one is really, the new one's going to be thick. And this is the back one that blew out. So I'm crossing my fingers. It'll last quite a bit longer and be more efficient. That's the whole point of these manifolds. You know how much these are? <laughs> Google's it. It's a, it's like over 250 bucks for like four of them or something. I'm like, uh... Oh, I grabbed the wrong one. <laughs> I grabbed the Rudolph Shanker. See that? There we go. That feels like the first time right there. And this one goes in up here, but I want to secure that. There's a bolt that holds that in. Ooh. Look at that filthy paw. <laughs> Papa Bear, what are you doing? How dare you? So here's the deal. Both manifolds are finally in the pipes. And just the two bolts that hold these manifolds in, they were rusted. I spent four days uh, WD jizzing each one of those. Finally broke them loose with heat, everything. And then to make the whole... I would... You're better off finding a wood stove, pay an extra hundred bucks or something, <laughs> uh, than replacing these manifolds. You got to take one thing I learned: you got to take all the fire brick out. You have to. I didn't do it. I had to massage that pipe in the hole <laughs> uh, for a long time before getting it in. And uh, anyways, boy, that really threw me off massaging the pipe in the hole. What was my point with that? Speaking of massaging a pipe, this is a single wall pipe that's actually going to go through the uh, Air Yeti material. You know, it's this classic, you got to bend it just right. Meanwhile, <laughs> three hours later, just doing this, massaging the very edge. Yeah, that goes in easy now. Oh, there you go. Yes. Look deep into the pipe hole. What do you see? Whoa.